the question is how significant the problem is in falsified drugs. It's very significant from two points of view. One is a patient that doesn't receive the treatment that is expecting or deserves. And the, the last point is the creation of uh, drug resistance. If you are infusing into the world, into different environments, medicines are poor quality. Infectious agents like parasites or bacteria become resistant because they are being fed maybe small amounts of the active ingredient that and they develop some tolerance. The testing that we do in the lab has different stages. And the first step is to document the packaging. The next step is to do a very rapid screening of the composition of those samples. So then we, we triage the samples, the ones that require the most pressing analysis, we analyze those first. And we use a technology called mass spectrometry. It's a very well-established technology, very powerful analytical chemistry technology. It basically allows you to identify and quantify the molecules in a medicine sample. After we do that screening, the samples are forwarded to our partner lab at the CDC, or we have a partner lab at the London School of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene that do more complementary and more in-depth analysis, but that analysis take lo takes longer. And so normally, as soon as we find something wrong with any soft medicine sample, we inform the local drug agency uh, that regulates medicines in the particular place where the samples were collected. We're one of the few laboratories in the U.S. doing this work. On one hand, we're helping uh, health researchers detect counterfeit drugs, identify them, and find out where they're coming from. And the other thing that we're doing is we're developing portable instrumentation that hopefully in the future we'll be able to, in the field or in a small clinic, test for a medicine and very quickly tell you uh, if it's uh, genuine or not, if it's good quality or not. And students at Georgia Tech have been fantastic, both undergrad and graduate students. Um, they would then volunteer to do this work for free because they, they realize that it's important. I feel like Georgia Tech is taking a lead role in this topic and we should continue to do so.